Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast, Props Edge Edition, presented by Line Star. I'm Shannon Somerville with your five best bets for week six in the NFL on the Underdog Fantasy app. If you don't already have the Underdog Fantasy app, make sure to download it. Great way to place all those prop bets. It is legal in most states. Use promo code LINESTAR and new users who deposit at least $10 can get up to $100 of your deposit matched. Use that promo code LINESTAR. Link is below. Also check out linestarapp.com. The tool we are using is called the Props Edge Plus tool on LINESTAR. It's a great tool that helps us find the best value in terms of our projections versus what the line is. Make sure to sign up for notifications on our YouTube page as well so that you can know when we're coming out with our content and you can hop on those bets right when we come out with our videos. Let's get into week six in the NFL. We've got a lot of great matchups for you. Last week we went three for five, so this week we're looking for five for five. Let's start things off with Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Kenny Pickett over 223 and a half passing yards. Last week in his first career start, he had 327 passing yards against the Buffalo Bills, a Bills defense that is one of the best in the NFL, allowing the fourth fewest passing yards per game. The week prior, Pickett had 120 passing yards against the New York Jets, and that was just in one half of football. Remember, he came in to replace Mitch Trubisky at halftime. And since that quarterback change, the Pittsburgh Steelers have been airing it out a lot more. 33 passing attempts per game under Trubisky. Under Pickett, that's up to 52 pass attempts per game. That's a 36% increase. We can expect more of the same against the Tampa Bay defense that has allowed three of five opposing quarterbacks to go over 230 passing yards. The only two that didn't were Dak Prescott. That was week one when he was hurt and left the game early. And then Marcus Mariota, who we know isn't really a passing quarterback. He's a dual threat quarterback. So Pickett is in a great spot here in week six to go over 223 and a half passing yards. Next up is Jets running back Brees Hall over 83 and a half rush and receiving yards. Hall is already averaging 55 rush yards per game and 47.6 receiving yards per game. And coming off a monster game where he absolutely torched the Miami Dolphins, 97 yards rushing, 100 yards receiving, and the Jets keep on increasing his volume. Also, his opponent this week, the Green Bay Packers, have allowed opponents lead rusher over 85 yards in four of five games. Unleash the Brees in this one. Brees Hall over 83 and a half rush and receiving yards. Next up, we're taking Falcons quarterback Marcus Mariota under 229 total yards. Mariota's averaging 216 yards per game this season, and he's only gone over that 229 total yards once in the last four games. This week, he'll be going up against that San Francisco 49ers defense that's allowing 249 yards per game. That's the fewest in the NFL. The 49ers are also holding opponents to 3.9 yards per play since 2000. Only the 2008 Super Bowl champion Steelers with that prolific defense have held opponents to fewer fewer than 3.9 yards per play. Defense wins championships. It's going to win you this prop bet too. We're taking Mariota under 229 total yards on the Underdog Fantasy app. Now it's time for my prop bet on Underdog Fantasy for week six in the NFL, and I am going with 49ers tight end George Kittle over 43 and a half receiving yards. He's averaging 33 receiving yards per game. However, the 49ers have basically been using him as an offensive lineman. He's been pancaking guys, making the runway nice and clear for fellow receivers like Debo Samuel. However, when they do employ him as a tight end, like they did last week against the Carolina Panthers, Kittle racked up 47 receiving yards. I expect the game plan to be similar this week against an Atlanta Falcons team that's giving up 71 receiving yards to tight ends. That's the third most in the NFL. Also, Kittle's had success against the Falcons in the past. Last year, racked up 93 yards against him. I expect Kittle in for a big game. Take Kittle over 43 and a half receiving yards on the Underdog Fantasy app. Next up is Tyler Weeman's best bet of the week on Underdog Fantasy, and he is going with Panthers running back Christian McCaffrey over 103 and a half rush and receiving yards. I fully endorse that one, Tyler. CMC's racked up at least 104 total yards the last four games. This Rams defense isn't as good as it once was. They're allowing 110 
rush and receiving yards per game to running backs. Also, Matt Rule was just fired for the Panthers. So in is now Steve Wilkes, who's the secondary coach. He's the interim head coach who has a long history of prioritizing the run game. In fact, when he was the Arizona Cardinals head coach, that was a huge point of his philosophy was establishing the run. This bodes very well for Christian McCaffrey in week six on Underdog Fantasy. Take McCaffrey over 103.5 rush and receiving yards. Let's recap our five best bets on the Underdog Fantasy app, starting with Kenny Pickett over 223 and a half passing yards. We've got Brees Hall over 83 and a half receiving and rushing yards. Marcus Mariota under 229 and a half total yards. George Kittle over 43 and a half receiving yards. And Christian McCaffrey over 103 and a half rush and receiving yards. Those are our five best bets on the Underdog Fantasy app for week six in the NFL. Make sure to tail us on the Underdog Fantasy app. If you don't have that app, make sure to download it and use the promo code LINESTAR. New users who deposit at least $10 can get up to $100 of your deposit match. Make sure to use that promo code LINESTAR. Link to that is below. Underdog Fantasy, great way to get those prop bets in. It is legal in most states, so it's an awesome app that we really enjoy. Also, make sure to check out LineStarApp.com. The Props Edge tool is exactly what we've been using to pick out the five best bets. It finds the best leverage in terms of the line and then compares that to the LineStar projections to find you the best edge. So check it out, LineStarApp.com. We've been having a lot of success lately. Last week, we went three for five on our picks, hoping for some good results this week, too, in week six. Good luck in all your prop betting. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.